I want to now turn it over to Tim, who had a very interesting perspective on taxes and issues dealing with the farms up north and what's happening to them because of the, the tax crunch, for lack of a better word. So if you could kind of explain what's going on and, and how you're seeing that world right now, because it was to me it was fascinating, because being in Southern California and dealing with a lot of indoor growers and, and distributors and banks, I'm not seeing the, the landscape that you're seeing in the trenches. Well, um, it's, it's a, even larger than a tax issue. It's a, it's a, it's a calamity. Uh, you look, uh, four years ago, we brought up about 400 people to uh, Eureka to have a gathering of uh, the supervisors and the fire department, everybody to talk about how we were going to embrace cannabis. And there was a standing ovation at the end. It was an incredible experience. Last week, the BCC came up to Humboldt to you know, do their road show, and there were less than 35 people in the audience. There was nobody that showed up, no one. There were more people from the state than there were there. And I explained to them that's because they've given up. There's no hope. There's like, a, Justin talked about a grieving going on. Swami talks about a thousand cuts. Uh, you basically have people that, it's a perfect storm where it wasn't just the taxes, it is the taxes, but it, it's uh, the land use. You've got the cultivators that have to now apply to building codes. Uh, you, you've got them having to deal with water boards. Up, up north, you could get away with doing whatever you wanted for a long time, <clears throat> excuse me, because the water boards and fish and game weren't in. Uh, now that they're in, it's like they used to fly helicopters, and then you had to go get a, a warrant, prove that you could go in there, and they go to a lot of trouble with cops. Now you just fly over with Google Map, you see it on a computer, you send the ten to twenty thousand dollar a day fine, tell them they got to shut down, and they have to. So they're sending out hundreds of notices throughout Humboldt, it's shutting, and, and Trinity and, and Mendocino, they're shutting down the markets. Now uh, the people that have been here for 40, 50, 60 years doing this. If you looked at the size of Mendocino and Humboldt Trinity, and Emerald Triangle, it's larger than most of the small states in this country. If this was, like they said, if this was a coal issue with coal farmers, or if this was a farming issue in Kansas, there's more farmers being wiped out in the Emerald Triangle than there are in Kansas or any place where they're subsidizing farm, farm labor and farm. Are, are, are those farmers having trouble even getting through the licensing process? Are they getting licensed well, locally you, at the state? Well, what, if you're talking about that, you've got uh, less than 300 uh, licensed farms in Mendocino, less, you know, less than 400 in Humboldt. Uh, they're, they're having a very challenging time because of, you know, Ed Rosenthal said it, we argued years ago, and it's true. Humboldt, Mendocino, they weren't made for traditional farming. The land's steep, there's no soil, lack of water, you know, it's challenging. But then you've got deserts out here that are bringing 500,000 square foot farms in, and they're taking the water from the Sierras or wherever else they're taking it from, and they're not in trouble, but the landowners up in Mendocino can't use their own water. So between the building codes, the taxes, everything, you're basically going to look at 75% of the people that built this industry are going to be gone. And in, in addition to that, you got the micro businesses, and they're not letting people do home micro businesses for the most part. So the product makers, the small people that did all that are gone too. So I'm excited about 64. I voted for it. I'm with Fiona and everything else. I know we're going to be in a great world. The consumers are going to get the best products they could ever hope for. We're going to have you know, cost-effective medicine. People are going to jail. I'm a huge advocate for all the people rotting away in jails across this country. And so I don't want to say it's negative. It's a great thing we're going into. But he asked about what we're seeing for the small farmers and small product makers, and it is a, an extinction event that they're going through right now.